All right, let's look at question two. Remember, question one is always going to be a little bit more basic than question two. So we're now in the space where we're leveling up a little bit. And so we're going to have to pay a little bit more attention, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, Mike, I'm not sure how you say that. Apologies if I said it wrong. Purchased prepaid electricity and received the following till slip. Okay, so here's the till slip. Note that some information has been omitted. Okay, what information is omitted? The number of units and the VAT amount. Okay, so we know we know how these papers are set. You're probably going to have to work out what those two values are, but let's just wait till they ask us, right? Let's first go to 2.1.1. Write down the meter number. Okay, let's look over here. A lot of students would just say, oh, there's the meter number, but that's actually the transaction sequence number. The meter number is actually this one over here. So it's not the VAT number up here and it's not that one. So it's not those two. It's the meter number over here. So be careful that you don't write down the wrong number just because you are trying to be quick, right? Just take it slow. Generally speaking, maths with papers, you have plenty of time. So don't stress yourself out. Start a new question on a new page, 2.1.1. And we're going to say the number is, and I'm just going to read it off there, 0703. Two nine eight five seven six nine, and you're done. Let's look at two point one point two and two point one point three. You can see it's ramping up in in marks, which is so fine. But we just need to concentrate. So it says determine the missing value B. Now there's two ways you can determine the missing value B. The first way is just applying fifteen percent to this amount because it tells you that VAT is fifteen percent, or you could just say the total subtract that amount has to give me the VAT amount, right? Which I think is actually the easier approach. Either will give you the same answer, right? And both will be correct. So don't be stressing about that. So let's just do the easier one where we say, well, my total is this. And the amount of my electricity cost me 113043. So my VAT has to be the difference between those two. Pop that into my calculator, 1130.43. Use my magic little um, uh, S to D. And remember, please remember to put in your RAND sign because it is an amount. And there you are. Done. Right? Oh, I put two equal signs. <laughs> okay. Okay, now 2.1.3, as you can see, is a bit of a meatier question. It's a seven mark question. So we're definitely going to have to concentrate a little bit more and work quite methodically because seven marks is quite a lot. But it starts by saying a partial residential electricity tariff table is shown below. Okay, so this is basically the tariffs. Remember with electricity, you charged a certain amount if you use below, in this example, 350. But anything above 350, you get charged more. It's a bit like tax, right? As you use more, you pay more. Same with tax. As you earn more, you pay more tax. Okay, excuse me, I'm yawning away here. Determine the number of kilowatt units Mike purchased. Okay, so basically it's asking us, what is this unknown value here? Now, the best thing to do to start this, and our students often, they look at these questions and they're like, I don't know what to do. The best thing to do is to say, well, what is the amount if she, if she was sitting in this bracket, which we don't think is the case because 350 times this is unlikely to be getting me to 1,300 because we know that that's what needs to be paid. Okay, we need to figure out how much she would pay if she just used 350 okay because that tells us kind of like how far is she out of block one into block two it just gives us an indication so you start by saying okay well if she used 350 kilowatts and each kilowatt was 219 rand how much would she have paid so you say 350 times by 2,19 oh Okay, and that's how much she would have paid. So she would have paid that much. Okay, now we know that she paid more than that, right? So we know that she paid 1,130,43 and that's for electricity. So be careful here. Don't use this amount here. Use that amount there because it's for the electricity, right? Remember the VAT is applied at the end. This is not including VAT, okay? And it specifically says they're excluding VAT. So just be careful with the number that you're working with. So we know that she paid 1130.43 in total for electricity. 
and the amount that you paid in that first block, right, in this first block one, is going to be that much. So how much did you pay in block two? Well, you just say 1130.43 and you subtract off 766.50. And that gives us 363.93. Okay, so that's how much she paid in the second block. Now remember, we're not trying to figure out how much she paid in the second block. We're trying to figure out how many kilowatts she used. So now we need to say, okay, in the second block, she used 363.93. But now each kilowatt cost 2,91. So we're going to say this 363.93, and we're going to divide it by 2,91, right? And that will give us our number of kilowatts. So just take your answer here, divide it by 2,91, because that will take my amount, right? Because that's my amount. I'm dividing it by the cost per kilowatt, and that will then give me my number of kilowatts. So my number of kilowatts is... One two five comma zero six one eight five five seven. Okay, so that's how much she used in block two. How much did she use in block one? Well, she used three fifty in block one. We already ascertained that. So now to get the total answer, you obviously have to add the two things together. So you have to say she used three fifty, right, in block one. And she used 125,0618557 in block two. And you add those two together. And that's how much she used in total over this period, right? So she used 475,06. Round off to two decimal places. That's generally how you do it. We It's 06 because the third decimal is below five. So we're just going to do that. Please remember your units right where do we get our units from well it's said over there okay so remember here work very periodically or, or very sort of systematically and it should make sense but it's a seven mark question so it is going to require a little bit more thinking okay let's move on to the next question